Hello. I'm having a break for five minutes <laughs> uh, since I released the video this morning. Is it still Monday? Oh, I don't even know what day it is. Yeah, it's Monday. <laughs> um, yeah, I have been, you know, yesterday. It was yesterday. Uh, I've been inundated with mask orders. So as you can see, using my sewing machine here. So I'm actually sitting in front of the computer watching the or listening to the atheist experience whilst sewing so yeah but um so thank you for all the orders that's pretty awesome um but i also saw this thing going on around the internet at the moment of um uh corona pickup lines now there's something that you none of you will know because I don't think I've ever mentioned it before. But I have a thing for cheesy pickup lines. Like, not that they would get me, but just I like them. I enjoy them. I actually um, have a really long list of them that I um, collected uh, a while back because I have worked them into the romance novel that I've been writing forever. Um... <laughs> And yeah, so I really like cheesy pickup lines. So <laughs> I found a whole bunch of cheesy pickup lines that are coronavirus related. And I thought, well, they gave me a hell of a good laugh. So I thought I'd share them with you. <laughs> uh, these are just from, I think there's some from Reddit. There's some from uh, Instagram, some from Twitter. They're just from all around the place and I'm not giving credit to the people that wrote them because I don't know if they wrote them or not and there's a fly and oh my god I hate flies <laughs> anyway uh, only one of them is like probably 18 plus the rest of them are kind of just cheesy pickup lines you know so but yes anyway so so here we go so is this is that is that hand sanitizer in your pocket or are you just happy to be within six feet of me so cheesy but you know kind of funny I'm um, just a girl standing six feet away from a boy asking him to stay there or maybe move back a foot there's a fly um, is it hot in here is it just our fevers and shortness of breath <laughs> when you realize you want to spend the rest of your life with somebody you want the rest of your life to start in 12 months maybe 18 <laughs> Uh, is heaven your quarantine zone? Because I think you're an angel. I mean, seriously, does it get cheesier than that? <laughs> Are you coronavirus? Because I wouldn't mind spending two weeks in bed with you. That's a good one. Um, you don't have to be a cruise liner for me to call you princess. Which, eh, I don't know. It's funny, but it's kind of morbid as well. Uh -huh. And yeah, so you would touch me with a 10 foot pole. <laughs> I like that one. That's a good one. Um, are you looking for a naughty girl? Because I only washed my hands for 19 seconds. Uh, did the coronavirus give you a temperature? Because you're hot. <sighs> so, you know, if someone actually said any of these to you, you would just slap them and walk away. You probably wouldn't even slap them. You'd probably just roll your eyes and walk away. Although, I guess I'd have to yell at them, yell, yell them at you. Oh my god. Yell them to you across the road. English is my first language. You'd never know. <laughs> uh, right, okay. You can't spell quarantine without U R A Q T. Oh god. So, I just washed my hands. <laughs> that's the lamest seriously it's so lame alright I just have to do this I know I'm in the middle of a video but I can't help it I hate flies that's <laughs> probably what I'll die from it's ingest ingest ingestion in, in, yep sniffing fly spray ah okay the coronavirus may have shut everything down, but I'm still open for business. <laughs> Asia Brie would like that one. Um, you're the only snack I want to stock up on. Listen, I just want a snack. Oh, seriously? They're my favourite snack. These are... Best popcorn ever. Because they are... 
slightly salted and slightly sweet and they are slightly salted and slightly sweet oh brilliant i just have a bad habit of eating the whole packet in one go which is really bad all right next one uh i'm here and you don't have to leave the house what's your third wish <laughs> I'm not sure if I'm blinded by a beauty or if that's just another side effect of COVID-19. <laughs> okay. Actually, I read a thing where a lot of people are, are losing their sense of smell and that's one of the um, symptoms. So, and it seems to be one of the symptoms of not very serious cases. I don't know if it's true or not. It's what I read, but that doesn't necessarily mean it's true. But yeah, so there you go wish I would lose my sense of smell because the air is so much drier at the moment this is the thing I really hate about winter um, I can, I've had sinus and when I get sinus instead of getting all blocked up everything clears out and I can smell the entire flicking world flicking? Well, that's my new word the, I can smell the entire world and it's horrible because I will smell the next door neighbours have a cigarette and I can freaking smell it and it's horrible <laughs> okay okay are you a pandemic because you've got my heart on lockdown oh. I saw you from, I saw you from across the bar stay there <laughs> oh this one this one's this one's good if I had a dollar for every time I thought about you I'd be in the highest tax bracket and then I'd be able to get tested for coronavirus I swear, here in Australia, we are so lucky. We can just go to the hospital and get tested. It's and it doesn't cost anything. So, which I would know because Bree went and got tested the other day. So we're. I think she said she gets her results back tomorrow. So, so hopefully she's. Well, so I suppose it doesn't make any difference because she seems to be on the recovery on you know recovering anyway. So. Um, if I had told you that you had a nice body, would you keep it six feet away from me? <laughs> I'll have what she's having for delivery and please leave it at my doorstep. Thank you. Ah, see, now it's attacking me. It's, a, it's like this big. Oh, I'm a fisherman's daughter, mate. It, it's probably this big. It's a big one, though. It, seriously, it's... Ugh. Um... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah, oh, do you believe in love at first sight, or should I walk past your house on the other side of the street again? <laughs> uh, hey, baby, I've got some rubbers we can use on our hands. They're gloves, so we don't have to touch anything. <laughs> That's a good one. I wash when my, I wash my hands when there's no pandemic too. Yes, that's an awesome pickup line. Uh, hey, babe, can I ship you a drink? <laughs> Is that pneumonia on my lungs or has your smile just left me breathless? Oh, that's, that's, that's not nice. <laughs> I would hate to have pneumonia. I get really claustrophobic. Like, I get claustrophobic watching movies. Like, I watched, um, is it Underwater, is that what it's called? The one with Kirsten Stewart in it? Which is why my hair now looks like this. Was, no. I... Have, it's been getting progressively shorter and shorter for a while now and um, I had decided I was going to just let it all grow out so I wanted it to all be the same length so I thought ah stuff it so I'll just shave it all off and I went oh that's really boring so I thought I'll bleach it and then realized that yeah the night before I had actually watched Kirsten Stewart Kristen Kristen Stewart why do I always pronounce that wrong you know I really like her so and I'm a Twilight fan. You can hate. I don't care. I love Twilight. I've read the books. I've watched the movies enough times that I can pretty much quote every single one of them. Every single line. And I think Robert Patterson is just the bee's knees. And oh, it'll be the only time I'll like Batman. Anyway, let's get back to this. <laughs> oh, it's a tangents, mate. Although this is going on the soap channel, though. So. Um, even during a, the corona pandemic, the most contagious thing is your smile. Oh, lame. Then here you go. Here's the 18 plus one. So you might want to cover your kids' ears. Um, are you an N95 mask because I want you on my face? Come <laughs> on, it's a cool one. It had to be included. Uh, you can't spell virus without you and I. Um, 
we're quarantined in the same house. Your options are kind of limited. <laughs> so husbands, if you're listening, this is the perfect line. And then the last one, which I feel is going to be the pickup line of 2020. I have toilet paper. <laughs> So yeah, so that's it. Uh, so my little break from doing some sewing. I'm gonna quick. Oh my god, it hasn't stopped. You guys, you can hear this thing, right? It's honestly, it's a massive fly. I hate flies. I really do. I don't know why. I mean, I think it's just like I'm gonna get it now. I don't know whether, because my dad really hates him too, so I don't know whether he's just always, cause, but he's, um, I think my dad's kind of like schizophrenic, sort of, and he gets really obsessed with things, like he's obsessed, he's obsessed that he has dust on his lungs, which I don't know, it, he reckons that, um, you know when you get scans, the people that give you scans, they never tell you what's going on in your scans, he reckons this person told him that he had dust on his lungs. And he reckons it's from the dust in his bedroom. So he's paranoid about dust. Like he gets dust. He gets little torches and, and checks for dust and stuff. All of like seriously. He's, you know, and he's also paranoid about flies, blow flies, and then putting maggots on things. And I said to him the other day, because he just, he was, he actually left a little bit of chicken out on the bench so the fly would get on it so he could spray the fly, right? <laughs> Oh, this is on Christmas Day, so it wasn't the other day, although everything was the other day. Um, and I said, I said, if a fly gets enough food, what's going to happen? He says, oh, it'll lay eggs. And I said, and? I said, we'll eat the food and it will go through stomach acid and nothing will happen. I said, you don't think we're going to get maggots in this, inside us or anything? Oh, no, no. But, yeah, but it's just this is a rational theory he has of, of maggots and stuff. Like, it's just... So yeah, so I don't know if the, the my hatred of flies comes from that or just like that incessant noise drives me mad because I don't like noises, like repetitive noises and stuff, which is whatever that's called. Like people chewing or tapping their feet or tapping pens or it just, yep, yeah, no. All right, I'm going to shut up because a tangent again did and I, I'm sorry. Um, <laughs> thanks to all the feedback from the... Um, from the update I did yesterday, that was that was really cool. I um, I can make these talking videos. You know, I like to talk. So, <laughs> but I need to get back to the sewing because I have so many masks to make. It's ridiculous. I've got so all these ones are getting made right now, and then there's these ones that are wrapped up in the little black things, and then they've got all these ones down here. There's like thousands down here. <laughs> So, and you can't see, there's some Doctor Who fabric down there that no one's ordered yet, but I'm sure they will want to make them, so. There's a different fly, because I can hear that one down, there's too many flies in this house! Alright, turn this off so I can kill all the flies, and probably myself from fly spray overdose. Alright, death by Mortine, that'll be what's on my, no, glitter. Might be glitter. <laughs> Could be worse. At least it's not coronavirus. Because <laughs> how would I catch that? I never leave the house. <laughs> All right. I'll see you next time. Bye. Oh, sorry. Toodaloo. I'll find something to say at the end of these videos at some point. Um, nah. Nah. Can't think of anything. Um, bye.